people are always stopping me on the street and asking, how can random mutations in self-replicating systems possibly produce adaptive behavior? In other words, can the amazing complexity of life be explained just through trial and error? It's hard to believe. I built the simulation to demonstrate the basic principles of evolution. It does not attempt to simulate actual biology, but it has the basic advantage of demonstrating evolving behaviors in seconds instead of thousands or millions of years. I call these simulated organisms feeding on the green dots critters. Each has a series of instructions that control its behavior, and each unique sequence of instructions is assigned a color and is tallied on the right. Each instruction is a letter, number, or symbol, and the critters are as long as their number of instructions. There are eight different instructions, including turn, move, sleep, and conditional instructions. The center area is magnified, and the X is a barrier with a gap in the center. These critters evolved over a few hours, and they're pretty good at finding food and getting around the barriers. I'll reset the simulation now and insert a very simple critter in direction. If it hits food, it gains energy. If it gains enough energy, it will reproduce. And there's quite a lot of food out there, so if I turn up the speed, we'll see a population boom. Now let's introduce a mutation. With mutation off, when critters reproduce, they produce an exact copy. With mutation enabled, they may have a mutation in their instruction set so that an instruction is randomly removed, inserted, or changed. And a lot of these mutations won't be viable. For example, Z is sleep, so a critter that simply sleeps will eventually starve to death. But if we uh, speed up, I'll slow it back down, we'll see that there have been some new critters evolving, some that tend to sit in one spot and move when they find food. More of the same. Let's slow it down again. Alright. And let's go for it. Um, so what will happen if I introduce, say, the X-shaped barrier? And what tends to happen is the critters hit the barrier and stop and eventually starve to death. And because they're not eating the food, there's a surplus of food. We'll slow it down. And we're starting to see some critters that when they hit the barrier, some still do tend to stop and die, but others are able to go around it. So, what this all tells me is that chaos is creation. I thank you for your time and hope you enjoy the evolutionary ride.